Hi friends, if you ever worked in cyber security before, now the chances are you would have been asked to present something at one point or another, right? It could be at a security conference, maybe you're presenting a security update to the CISO, the head of cyber security, maybe even the CEO, right? And you are asked to present these things. Now what happens is usually you get very excited, right? Uh, like this is a familiar scenario, you will put in many, many hours making like a good cyber security presentation in PowerPoint, you will rehearse it multiple times in front of the mirror, you will revise the notes, make sure everything is good, like making sure that presentation has the good quality, right? And then you're very excited, comes the big day, and then unfortunately, kaput, you know, right in the middle of presenting, you will see that the CISO or the CEO is like yawning, he's not interested in what you're presenting, or uh, worst of all, maybe he's checking the phone when you're talking, right? That's very demotivating, uh, especially at security conferences. This can be very demotivating when you see audience members are not even bothering, they're yawning like this, right? Especially if you're doing it in the afternoon after the lunch, which I call the post-lunch coma. You know, if you've ever gone to a security conference, people like eat too much during the lunch and then afterwards they're falling asleep, right? And then it's very, very difficult. They're not even listening. I always feel sorry for the guy who presents right after the lunch at security conferences because everybody is what I call the post-lunch coma. So this is why it's very, very important. Uh, the topic which I want to talk about, which is how to make good cyber security presentations. This is not a technical topic, but you will not believe how much this skill is lacking amidst cyber security professionals. Simple tips, simple, simple tips, which I know, which people do not apply and they end up making very, very boring presentations. They're not able to present whether it's within your company, whether it's outside the company. And that's what I want to talk about today, guys. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. I talk on a weekly basis. My name is Tamur. Sorry, I forgot to tell you my name. My name is Tamur. And I talk on a weekly basis about things like cybersecurity, uh, cloud security, artificial intelligence, and cybersecurity career advice. Okay. So this is the topic I want to focus on today because I feel it is a very, very essential skill. And I feel it is not like developed fully within like cybersecurity professionals, especially if you want to move up the ladder. So if this like you like this video like this uh, channel please do like and subscribe to this channel that will really help the channel to grow guys so when i talk about this i want to talk about common mistakes to avoid because if you are able to avoid these mistakes that will help you out a lot now what happens is cyber security is a very exciting field to be in right honestly with terms like hacking cyber uh, cyber attacks ransomware this is all very very like interesting stuff right this is not like boring stuff but Cybersecurity meetings and presentations, they can be some of the most like boring events you can ever attend, which is quite surprising. And especially if your meeting or conference is being done remotely, then it's even more difficult to retain the audience's attention. So this is what I want to talk about, guys. This is I want to talk about a few tips and advice that I have learned over many, many years of making mistakes. I have made all of these mistakes. So this is not like coming out of air while giving presentations to CEOs, boards, conferences. Okay, and honestly, most of these things you can apply to any field, not just cybersecurity, but since I've worked in cybersecurity for the past two decades or so, I want to focus on that only. So what is the first mistake? The first mistake, very, very common, unfortunately, which is avoid uh, bullet point hell. What is that? Well, if you know, you've probably seen sites like this before, right? Where a person thought that maybe compressing the NIST standard or the OS guidelines or the PCI DSS standard into one slide. That was a good idea. Please avoid this like the plague. Nobody will be able to understand what you've written. Nobody's going to remember this information after you finish reading this slide because there's too much information. Okay. The average, the what you want to do is put four or five max, maximum five points into one slide and then focus on those. Okay. Do not make this bullet point hell where you're like bombarding the user with text based information. No, but everybody hates that. Everybody immediately zones out when you see this. So please, first first point is avoiding this bullet point hell. Do not do this. Like people like to uh, like dump all the information like this. This is not good, guys, okay? <clears throat> What's the second thing? The second thing would be avoid boring tables. Again, it's like a very related to the sync point, but yeah, you want to think where you want to compress like the 500 pen test report into a table on one slide, right? Do you honestly expect anyone is going to engage with the presentation if it looks like this, right? The main thing is you want to compress and summarize the main ideas into four or five points and try to focus there. I'm going to show you how to do that. But this is another mistake. This is very, very common. I've seen people do like this, right? They have like an audit finding. They have like a pen test finding and they dump information like this. 
if you are like i don't know like a lawyer or something you'll probably like this but nobody has this much in attention span they will zone out do not make a slide like this nobody is going to focus on it you will lose the audience's attention in one second with this okay and the other one is avoiding blobs of text which is another common thing which i see people make is like this so <clears throat> sorry if you are like presenting a security incident report right and what people do is they dump this much like text like which is the same thing like uh, the tables and the blob but here they don't even bother making like bullet points or table they just take all this information and they dump it into this huge like garbage dump of information onto the slide right like a uh, 1500 words or something like that and they expect the audience to read that again nobody is going to do this guys please do not be lazy like this and this will result in a very negative impression and you will lose the information uh, which you are trying to present okay okay fourth mistake is do not read like a robot what do i mean i don't mean don't become a robot the simple tip is what i'm talking about the audience can read what is written on the slide you do not need to read it out word for word so the what is written on a slide you're literally just reading it like a robot the immediate the audience will immediately zone out once they see you're just repeating the words like a parrot okay narrow down the key points and what i want you to do is rehearse just take a few key points and rehearse it you know get a partner like you do in like you're preparing for a play or a movie like right? have a script and try to speak it naturally this will make them focus on you and if you won't come across like a robotic drone who's just literally like you're vomiting out what is there on the slides right so that is again a thing just write a few points and then practice practice with somebody practice with a partner and then you will see that actually that helps out a lot okay okay and the last point i want to tip you like the last tip i want to give you is using visuals but smartly okay what do i mean visuals will always be better than words right instead of a hundred word table showing the security findings put a graph there you know it's a simple thing instead of a blob of text showing how the attack happened show a visualization of how the attack happened it will take a bit more time yes but you won't believe how easy it will be for the audience and they like pictures right visuals tell a story you want to tell a story okay instead of just dumping a table i know it's easier to do and so that is what i want you to focus on and especially even when you come talk about diagrams you can put like a human touch right if especially if you're presenting at a conference you have even more freedom you can put in things like a doodle or a meme i mean don't go overboard about it but you have some amazingly natural elements you can use natural looking templates you can use there's so many softwares like this you can make it look completely natural okay look at this diagram it looks much more natural look like some human has made it right you want to have that human connection uh with your audience right there are many many softwares you can make you can do a whiteboard okay you can do whiteboarding you can make like a doodle uh you can make all those sort of things and these will actually grab the audience's attention when you talk about diagrams it's not just what diagrams are there what type of diagram you make it okay so this is like for my recent course i made on uh, like threat modeling right so these are the sort of diagrams i've used i could have gone with a software like draw.io and made it a very you know technical looking aws diagram or something like blobs like shapes like that but no i d deliberately made it like this because it's easier to follow right it's easier to understand there's a mobile banking app there's an app store these are microservices there's a table there's a banking app this is github so it's easier for the use to follow right so these are the things i want you to focus on uh, and these are the tips i wanted you to give so what, what i want you to take from this uh, video guys is cyber security presentations are a skill the more you practice the better you'll get at it so yeah and the more you practice it's like a muscle right the more you do it the, the stronger you'll get at it but use these tips and i almost guarantee you that you will see an improvement coming you don't have to what you call wait for a presentation to come up you can make it your own make it uh, upload it on udemy and you'll you'll get more practice on that but that's what i used to do and that really used to help me out so that's what i wanted to talk about guys i hope this was a, this was a bit of a deviation from my usually topics on cloud security but this is a skill which really i've seen that people do not have and i wanted you to focus on so i hope this was useful guys if you found this video useful please do like and subscribe to this channel thank you very much and i'll see you in the next